What's going on? It's your boy Jay coming at you with another topic video for Splatter Talk Cinema Review. As I covered in my last video, Child's Play is going in two different directions, the remake and the television series. Don Mancini and company are bringing the Child's Play franchise to the small screen, and I got us wondering over at Splatter Talk, what other horror franchises would benefit from going to the small screen? So, this is Splatter Talk Cinema's top five horror movies which would benefit from going to television series. Let's get into it. In the horror genre, there have been multiple franchises which have tried their luck with television. Franchises like The Evil Dead, Scream, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday the 13th had some small television success but really fizzled out quickly. These are the movies I think would benefit from the small screen. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber already, press that little bell so you get all the notifications from Splatter Talk Cinema Review. Give the video a like and give us a comment down below. Which movies would you like to see become a television series? But without further ado, let's get on with my picks. Number one, Hellraiser. Pinhead and company have been continuously hitting the brick wall with their recent releases. Everything after Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth has been straight to DVD and had no theatrical releases. Also, the main actor to portray the notorious Pinhead over the course of eight films left the franchise due to creative differences. Once you have played a character so much, you tend to know what they would do, how they would think. Well, I would treat Hellraiser, the series, as a small entry, each episode being treated to small movies. Each and every show would feature one, if not all, of the Cenobites, and the story would come to a head during the season finale. Number two, Friday the 13th. With the success of the independent short film Never Hike Alone, I filled Jason Voorhees with it perfectly on the small screen. Good thing about bringing him to the television series, you can erase the last couple installments of the Friday series. I'm sorry, but Jason goes to hell and Jason X sucked ass. And I know what you guys are thinking, that Friday the 13th had a series before and it wasn't that good. The thing about Friday the 13th, the series back in the day, that was an anthology. And the anthologies did not include Jason Voorhees. With this one, you need to include Jason. Coming in at number three on my list, Tales from the Hood. I don't know whose idea it was to actually come up with a sequel to this movie, but oh my goodness. I haven't even watched it yet. Sins watched it and my brother has watched it and they said that it was laughable. It was hilarious. It was stupid. But Tales from the Hood could do well on the television. The movie's already made up of different skits. Each skit could be an episode with different actors portraying different things and with Keith David being the master of ceremonies. Number four, Puppet Master. Did anyone know that there was 13 fucking Puppet Master movies? No, me neither. Anyhow, I believe that this was brought to like a Netflix or a Hulu. It would benefit tremendously. No one really wants to buy a DVD of Puppet Master. But if it's on Netflix and you already got a subscription to Netflix, why not watch it? I would ask that they have a complete reboot of the franchise, though. The movies were all right, first and second one, but the rest of them were just garbage. Come up with a fresh concept and try it on the small screen. And number five on my list, and I know you guys are going to butcher me in the comments below because I am kind of partial to this franchise, but number five is A Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm not saying it because I'm partial to the Elm Street franchise. I'm saying it because it would really benefit the franchise if they were on television. Everyone would watch it. 
Everyone has to sleep, and with Freddy coming to the television screens once a week, you can look forward to more Freddy tales. A Nightmare on Elm Street did have a small series from 1988 to 1990, two seasons to be exact. But according to Bob Shea, after the first few episodes, executives stopped caring and pretty much let anyone write an episode or direct. This time, I believe they need to put much more effort into it and let everybody know that Fred is back. There is so much potential left in the Nightmare series, and I believe that Netflix would be able to show the franchise justice. And that is Splatter Talk Cinema's top five horror movies which would benefit from going to television series. If you like what you heard, go ahead, click that notification button, click that subscribe button so you can get everything that has to do with Splatter Talk Cinema. Hit that like button. Give us a comment down below because we really do care about what you guys think and uh, what kind of ideas you guys have. But this is Jay, Splatter Talk Cinema Review. It's a wrap.